So why is it hard to find some planets in the solar system, or rather discover new planets in general? The idea is very simple. You know, if you take the definition of the solar system, a solar system has a big body of mass at the center of the, the solar system, and then whatever orbits around that body of mass. So in this case, take our solar system. Our solar system is one star, and there can be more than one star, but there's always like certain star, there's always one star that everything orbits around, or maybe uh, to make it more complex, there could be binary solar systems or, or other, you know, but still other objects orbit one object, or maybe vice versa. But chances are each solar system has just one star, or, or if it has more than one star orbiting another star, it's one star that everything orbits around, for the most part. So anyways, to make a long story short, our solar system has just one star. Our solar system is said to be 122 astronomical units. Uh, just to give it to you for short, the distance between here to Pluto is about roughly 40 billion or 40 astronomical units, sorry. Or to make it, you know, make a long story short, you know, 122 astronomical units or somewhere, it's just an estimate, but about 11 billion 346 million miles, somewhere around there. And the question is, you know, at least in our solar system, because we'll keep it simple, but I want you to think about this. There's a lot of people that often ask, why is it that we don't, like, you know, we, we can discover other planets, but why are they generally so far away from our planet? Or why are they, like, or if we find another planet that's within our orbit, or rather, you know, in our solar system, why is it, like, so far away? What, where are they at? And really, you don't really think about this, unless, of course, you really draw yourself a picture, or really just draw this in your head, but the further out you go, the bigger the orbit and the longer the orbit cycle around the star, you know, if you if you think about it, the longer the orbit is for a planet, those planets could be anywhere. You know, for, like take Mercury for example, because it's the closest planet to the sun. You know, you know, let's say here's the sun and it moves with the galaxies, or with the with the universe, and the galaxy, and then the, obviously the sun, the sun because the sun's moving, so everything in the solar system is moving too. So it'd be like, you know, here's, let's say like Mercury was like right here, and here's the sun right here. Sun's right here, Mercury's right here. So it'd be like, really, you know, even though Mercury still is kind of a ways away from the sun, but, you know, you would kind of, you would have a lot, you'd have a better chance of finding Mercury, because, and I mean, you know, thanks to like Starry Night, although, you know, if we have it on record, we can track it. We know where it's at, but, you know, but for the most part, you know, the solar, you know, it's, it's a small orbit, so, like, you can kind of see where it's at, but if it was, like, way out there, but within the solar system, it would be, like, you know, like, really like this, you know, compared to, like, this. And so what I'm trying to say is, you know, if you were to just take into consideration, you know, there's definitely got to be other planets in our solar system that haven't been discovered, because we haven't seen all the way past our solar system. You know, like I just said, you know, Pluto's, like, one-third the distance so we still have like two-thirds the distance of our solar system, and that's just one solar system. You know, what's out there? What's beyond that? I mean, you know, you could think of, like, that's quite a distance away, but, you know, you could find anything in that circumference. You know, let's say, so, so like, in other words, if you don't know what I'm trying to say, you know, draw a diameter of 11,346,000,000 miles. And the further out you go with that line, you know, you, you just, you're going to start finding things that you've never even seen before, and the only way to see it is with a telescope or some sort of satellite, you know. There's just no way to see it with, like, you know, y the only way that somebody would be able to find that is if they had, like, some sort of sonar radar or some advanced technology that could, you know, identify objects that are nearby like that, you know or at least point you in the right direction, or somebody found something. It's the only way you would be able to find another planet the further out you go, because, and I mean, we have that kind of technology, we do, but the thing is, you would need, like, all the help you can get, because you're not just gonna, 
look at just a telescope and say there's a planet right there. No, you would have to literally, you know, have like some sort of identification to uh, keep up with that because the further out you go, the harder it is to find those kind of planets. And that kind of should explain it just a little bit, like why are some planets hard to find? Because they might be accelerating faster or slower. But for the most part, it seems like the, the further out you go, the longer the orbit, the faster the planets could be also accelerating, but within the solar system. Or rather, so they're not flying out of the Earth's orbit. Or rather, the, the Sun's orbit, sorry.